cautious. to our new line of subterranean vaults featuring our patented Triple S technology. Triple S technology is Vault Tech's convergence of the three most important parts of apocalyptic endurance, safety, survivability, and sanitation. Sleep in quiet comfort that our impenetrable vault doors can withstand a direct hit by an atomic bomb with a 50% failure rate. Living sections make use of our revolutionary floor suck auto cleaner system for those darned messy kids. Never sweep again. Moms will love how our Culinator 3000 kitchen system makes cooking a breeze. Mmm, I can smell the muffins baking now. Or don't be. Step into our Entertainatron room and watch the latest holotapes, or perhaps listen to a symphony. Another Vault Tech innovation. Concerns about security? Our eye on you cameras enable the Vault's leader to watch your every move. You'll never be alone again. Should the unlikely event arise and the planet is laid to waste, you'll feel happy knowing your family will be safe in a small tech vault. We hope you've enjoyed our tour today. Oh! 
Hey, all right! The hero of the wasteland returns. Hey, 
You're the one who deserves all the thanks. You struck a major blow against tyranny. Now, GNR can be heard clear across the capital wasteland again. That'll give Eden and those muties something to think about. But before I get back to my calling, I bet you want to hear about your dad. Whoa now, dry your eyes. My promise is a promise, and I will provide. When your dad passed through here, he and I talked for a good long time. He was a real stand-up kind of guy. He mentioned some scientific mumbo-jumbo which didn't make sense to me, and mentioned something called Project Purity. He also said something about going to visit a Dr. Lee in Rivet City, then he left in a hurry. Goodbye. Remember to keep us tuned in while you're out there, and watch yourself. you. Where? Want some more? you. Those monsters, they're, they're gonna get me. Those things, they keep coming, they scare me, make it stop. You look stronger than all the other grown-ups. Can you, can you protect me? Those big things, they're all over Great Itch, and they killed everyone. Please, mister, please find my papa. It used to be kind of nice. No one bothered us there. I guess because we were so close to DC. There were seven of us living there in tall, old brick houses. I think I'm the last one left. Those things took everyone else. Nah, people don't like to stay long in Great Itch. The DC ruins aren't a great place to make a home, you know. In fact, Papa was talking about moving on soon. We've been here for maybe a year. Um, besides me and my Papa, there was Doc Lesko who stayed with us, and Will Brandis, and his Mama and Papa too. I guess they're all gone now. All right. What is it? Nah, go ahead. It's just nice to talk to anyone about stuff at all. He was a strange man. He paid Papa some caps to help him build a shack and carry a bunch of junk into it. Papa called him an egghead, but his head was shaped regular, so I didn't get it. 
He spent all of his time in that shack next door to my house. Every time I'd sneak in there, he'd be sitting at that funny looking TV machine with the green words pushing buttons. Nah, he was a nice man, but he never wanted to play with me very much and we barely talked. All I know is he was all gone when the ants started showing up. I think they got him too. I don't know. All kinds of doohickeys. Boxes with lots of lights, some funny glass bottles. Oh wait, he had a big, clunky, shiny man too. That was kind of neat. Yeah? Well, there is Will. He was sorta of my friend. And then there was his dad and his mom. Right across the street, actually. It was pretty swell having someone to hang out with so close by. Yeah, Will was super nice to me. He was like a year older than me, I think. He even shared his comic books with me. We explored pretty much every bit of Grey Ditch we could find. I think that's why the ants don't bother me. I have good hiding spots. Well, his mom was nice too. She was kind of quiet. But she always took care of me and my papa when we came over. I think she was sad that my mom was gone. Will's dad was... Well, I don't want to be mean, but he was kind of scary. He was like, always watching me and my dad real careful, like he didn't trust us or something. He always kept staring at us from the windows of his house and typing stuff into his TV box. Will said his dad was like an old soldier or something, but he didn't like doing that stuff, so he quit. Yeah? Alright. What is it? Well, they're big, ugly things that crawl around on six legs. They got huge teeth and skitter around grabbing everything in their path. My papa would always say they're fucking ants. Well, that's what he used to call them anyway. I just call them fire ants. Nah, those things started coming around only in the last few months. At first, they just crawled around outside our town. But later, they came into town and, well, you know the rest. My papa had a gun. He said it hurt those things. But he said they were the dumbest fucking ants he ever saw. He kept telling everyone to shoot for their antenna. Whatever that means. Alright, what is it? Look for the house nearest to the billboard. That's sticking out of the ground. It's pretty close to the diner. You can't miss it. You will? Really? Thanks a whole lot. My house is the one closest to the huge sign and the old diner. Please, find my papa and make him come back. You know, maybe this will help and maybe it won't. But papa hid a bunch of stuff behind the old diner and a dumpster. He trusted me with the key and said it was for emergencies. But I bet he wouldn't mind you having it. Well, there is the personal shelter next to the old diner. Papa always said to stay away from it, but I guess it's supposed to be safe. I'll head over there and wait inside. Hurry back. 